Covering the White House is um, a huge, huge hassle. Also, it's a tremendous amount of fun. Um, it is great to be able to go every day. You know, one of the things I really enjoyed most was being able to go to the guard shack every day and put my hard pass up against the gate and it clicks open and it lets you in. And all of a sudden you're inside. Well, you're inside the White House grounds, but you're inside. Um, you know what's going on with the White House. And, you know, it's, a, it, it's hard for people to understand this, but it's a very cramped space. So you spend the whole day sort of shoulder to shoulder with other reporters, usually the other reporters from your own network, but the other reporters, you're, you're just kind of crushed in there. I remember the first time, the CBS seat is the first row in the White House press corps, and I sat next to Helen Thomas, and the first time I sat down there, I thought, wow, this is like enormous. I'm sitting here. I couldn't even ask a question. I couldn't even think of a question to ask, because I, I was so dumbstruck by the fact that I'm sitting in the front row of the White House press corps. What am I doing here? There's been a terrible mistake. Maybe I should leave. Uh, but it, it, it is... So much is happening, and you realize every decision is made, and it must be this way for people who work for the White House. So much is happening that even the smallest thing you do or say can affect history, can change history, can affect an outcome. And you realize this, and you think, gee, I need to be really careful. <laughs> but you also think, wow, the enormity of what I'm doing is helping to people, people to understand what their president, what the leadership of our country is doing every day. That's a huge thing. It's a huge responsibility. Um, but it was also a very fun place to work because you're going all the time. Um, you, president goes somewhere, you go somewhere. Now, sometimes this ends up being really boring. Um, I covered George W. Bush a lot, and we went to Texas every summer with him. And we stood in front of the same bale of hay for the entire eight years and told you what, the, you, you don't get anywhere near the president. You're standing in front of this big bale of hay and you do this, you know, and you have to be ready to do it all day long. It's hard on your personal life because you can't be home with your family. And you can't know when you're going to be home and you can't know when something is going to happen. But uh, at the time that you're working, you realize that every day you have an exclusive front seat in history, you can see it really happen, and that's wonderful.